Hello everybody, it's your boy Ronnie Bizzle, leaving Casa e Bizzle, headed out to play some poker. It is Thursday night. I haven't played poker in about, uh, I don't know, a week and a half or so. Anyways, um, today starts the beginning of one of the most busiest times here in Vegas. It is Super Bowl weekend, and the games are usually insane crazy because a lot of gamblers are in town. So this is probably one of the best times to go play poker. So, during the next day, maybe two, um, maybe three, you never know, I'm going to document playing poker during Super Bowl weekend and see how your boy does in this environment where, oh, I'm gone, there I am again, <laughs> where the game should be really, really good and the action should be really, really fast. So, let's head out to the strip and uh, play some poker. I think tonight is Thursday. Um, a lot of the gamblers are not really in town yet. They'll start coming maybe tomorrow and Saturday. So I think uh, we're going to go to the Mirage. We're going to go to the Mirage, see what's going on over there, and then we'll see how the games go. Maybe I'll walk around and see what happens during the night. But it's like 9.15, so I got all night to play, so I don't, I don't have to uh, work tomorrow. So let's head out, play some poker, hopefully win, and get some of those gambler Super Bowl money in your boy's pockets. Here we go guys, approaching the famous Las Vegas Strip. Going to play that poker room right there, you see it? The Mirage. So the uh, the Mirage parking lot looks a little empty right now. So I'm guessing the Super Bowl crowd is not in town yet. So I'm guessing they're gonna come tonight, later on tonight or tomorrow. So we'll just see how the games are. In the middle of the table, you see a straddle there of six dollars. It's a borderline straddle, it's just touching the line, but it's still six dollars. <laughs> more okay, line. now it could be five, it could be six. Okay. I can do it again. Five more dollars, sir. All right, guys, I am walking out of the Mirage and I got absolutely crushed today. It was not a good session. Oh, you know, right now I'm in the midst of one of my worst runs I've ever had in poker. Oh, I just, this session was really frustrating because it seems like I had the best hand. And I got like one outed, two outed, whatever. And whatever card they needed, they caught up. I got a flop. Whenever I had a big hand, I got a flop. It was just so oh, frustrating. And uh, yeah, I lost, I lost a lot. <laughs> I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie. I lost a lot. But what can you do? It's poker. It's gambling. It's uh, it's what it is. But oh man, I just gotta. I'm just feeling deflated. It sucks. You know. I'm glad I don't do this for a living. That's all I gotta say. You know. I just. I'm so glad I don't do this for a living. <sighs> so I'm at home. Tomorrow's another day. We'll try again. guys it's all right guys it's the next day after last night's disastrous session at the mirage we're gonna try again we're here at caesar's palace we'll play poker i'm not sure we're gonna play poker here but we're definitely gonna eat here so we're gonna have dinner and then we're gonna figure out where we're gonna play so i hope you'd be a lot better than last night
after the disastrous session last night, I actually booked the win. Oh, felt good, played good, ran, ran all right. Didn't really ran that good, but you know, booked the win. That's all that matters. So I think uh, the wife and I got to go somewhere else, right? Because the night's still young. <laughs>